Hey guys, it's Marissa. So today I'm going to be doing a fall look for you. I think, uh, I'm just so excited. It's fall and I'm so excited it's starting to cool down. So let's go ahead and get started. Uh, my face is pretty much moisturized. I don't think I need to put any extra on it. If you hear some kind of shh, shh, shh it's Lila in the corner. I'm going to go ahead and start priming my eyes with my Urban Decay Priming Potion. Uh, love this stuff. And I got my ring back from the jeweler. Uh, I know the last couple videos, uh, maybe it was just the last one, I didn't have it because um, one of the diamonds fell out, so. Just going to apply this with my fingers. So today I'm going to be doing lashes. Dun dun dun! Hopefully it turns out good. I'm not going to make any promises. I'm not that good at lashes. I just don't wear them nor regularly, so. That said, let's move on to our eyes. Uh, I'm going to take a Sun Yuka Shook 28 Brulee by MAC. Just taking this nice vanilla ish matte color into the eye. I'm just going to coat it really, really nicely and uh, get a good coat on. And this is just going to cover up any darkness or redness and uh, act as our base shadow as well. It's going to cover up those veins I got. So now uh, for some color, I'm going to take in a BH Cosmetics, uh, just a blending brush. This is just a really great brush for blending. I absolutely love it. Into soft brown. And this is going to be going into our crease. It's going to be awesome. I'm just going to take this through the crease. I like that this brush is larger. It's going to do a lot of the blending for us. Right now, using soft brown, I'm not too worried about getting concerned about where it's going on the lid. I mean, uh, the general area where it's going is fine. I'll get in sooner, um, soon with a smaller detailed brush. Um, that's a good thing about your eye size. If you if you know what kind of uh, look you're going for using the right size brush really is important but right now we're just defining our crease a little bit and this larger brush is going to be fine. Right now for the rest of this I'm going to just zoom in a little bit so you guys get a better visual. Now we're going to start going in a little bit more. Taking a detailer brush uh, this is by Real Techniques. This is a really great brush to have if you don't have it already. This brush is awesome for so many things. Concealing, uh, you know, fixing a blemish, going around your lip to make sure you have a nice, clean, defined lip. Um, doing the brows, making sure they're nice and clean. It's also great for detailing um, in here and putting in pigment in a certain, pop, certain spots. So I'm going to take this brush. And I'm going to go into um, Swiss Chocolate by MAC, which is this nice, rich brown tone. Just packing it through. Okay. Just going to keep packing it over here. And this again is a matte, so it's going to look really nice. Again, I'm just seriously just working it into this outer corner. Okay, now that I got the intensity that I like, I'm going to take in the Beach Cosmetics brush again and just blend that out really nicely. Now we have this really nice warm eye. I'm really hoping that the camera is picking up on this. These colors, they're just really, really working out nicely. Just gonna keep blending this so that we don't have any harsh lines. But I've got that blended out. I'm gonna take the same brush and just barely get um, some Carbon Black by MAC. And this is just a matte black color. Right here is Carbon. It's a matte black color. And then right here is Swiss Chocolate, which is the color we just used. And uh, together they're going to form a nice smokier eye. So 
So I'm just going to take this carbon onto the detailer brush and put this in that very, very, that very, very, the back edge of your eye into that very last part of your crease. Then I'm going to go in, and I just did a little bit. I'm going to go back in the Beach Cosmetics brush and just blend that out. Make it really nice and soft so we don't have any harsh lines. And of course, if you want more, go ahead and come back in with it. I just want to make sure that I'm getting right amount, but I don't want to make it too harsh. And of course, if you're not a fan of black or browns, you can always substitute deep blues or purples. Um, this is a these are deep, beautiful purples. If you can see, they're really, really, really nice. Um, this is a Smashbox, a little trio. I love this. It has Parfait, Amethyst, and Aubergine, and these, these colors are gorgeous. So, um, so now we'll go ahead and go into those. So now I'm going to be going into, I think, yeah, it's this one. So this is Parfait, Amethyst, Aubergine. So I'm going to go into this one, which is Amethyst, with the same little brush. And just go in right here at that edge where it starts to turn more brown than it does the, the carbon black. Right at that edge. Do the same to this side. This, I think, could definitely be worn during the day if you just didn't do the lashes. Alright. And then just blend it up. We're going to go into this other color, which is the Parfait, which is a really nice, very, very, very soft purple. And let's see. I'm going to be going in with just a smaller foundation brush, a flat headed eyeshadow brush. Take this on and put it into our corner, our inner rose corner, and work it into the other side. And when it meets in the middle with the other colors, I'm going to pat it just gently so that way it blends really nicely. And this is a matte color as well. So just taking it from here, oh, working it, and then patting it once it meets the center with the rest of the colors. So that way it has a really, really nice transition, and it's not harsh. So, yeah. If you want to use this as your brow highlight, you're welcome to. I'm going to go in with... Uh, Shroom, which is a really, really nice shimmery vanilla color by MAC. With the steam brush, just taking it onto the edge and just right in here. And I'm going to use my finger just to blend it a little bit more. So the eyeshadow is basically finished. Okay guys, so now that the shadow is done, we're going to move on to lining. So I'm just going to be taking a E65 and filling in my brows just a little bit, rotating between soft brown and dark horse by um, Urban Decay. Alright, there we go. Okay, so now for lining. Um, today to line I'm using two different things. I'm using the Maybelline Eye Studio Gel Liner, and this is just black. Um, and then I'm also going to be using NYX Super Skinny Markers. So, and to use the gel liner, I'm using an Elf uh, Super Angled uh, Brush. So I'm just going to take this in, and I'm going to get super close to my face with the compact, and I'm going to push it onto the line where my lashes are. Come up over here and just start to create the wing. Okay, so now that we got the wing, I'm going to do the same on this side.
Okay, so now that I have the liner done, we can go ahead and go in with a light coat of mascara. Um, oh yeah, I'm going to go in just a little bit uh, with a, this is Deep Dark Brunette. This is a brow liner, but I also use it for eyeliner, and um, this is just awesome. It's by MAC. Um, I'm going to just line my bottom line with it really quickly, and then we'll go in with some uh, mascara. I'm not lining the waterline. So I want to really keep my uh, eyes somewhat open. Now we can go in with some mascara. I'm just going to go in with a really light coat of Lash Accelerator by Rimmel. Just a really s simple coat and it will apply the lashes. Of course, you don't have to do lashes if you don't want to. I just am feeling in the mood to be a little glam. I'm going to finish off the rest of the face. Um, first, I'm going to go in with a little bit of MAC Match Master mixed with my uh, BB cream by Maybelline. So... I'm going to just put the BB cream on first, spot it on, I'm going with the Match Master, every time I read that I'm like Match Master, like a matchmaker, <laughs> I don't know, that's what I think of. I know it looks like a mess right now, but I do this so it all blends really good together. Alright, and then I'm going to take an Expert Face Brush by EcoTools and um, just blend this out really, really nice. It's nice and good. Okay guys, so now that I have the foundation on, you can see I'm definitely a lot more pale, but don't worry, we're going to be fixing that in no time. So I went in with the Match Master and the BB Cream and now I'm just going in with the Revlon Whip Color Shade Foundation. Um, my color is buff and I'm just using a foundation like little detailer brush to go in and I'm using this as my concealer. Um, I feel like this look is heavy so I don't want to use a super super white concealer. I'm just going to use this because it's my skin tone. So I love doing this. I find it gives me a really nice uh, coverage. And um, because it is 24 hour color stay, it lasts quite a while, so it works really good for me. Um, I'm just going to go in, I already did under my eyes, and of course any uh, lines just go in and buff them out with this guy. So now I feel like that's all taken care of. And I just uh, put a little bit over the lips. <laughs> I look so pale. <laughs> okay, so now that I got that taken care of, you can always set this in with a powder. But I'm really liking the way it finishes. I really like the way it looks. So I'm only going to go under the eyes. This is my MAC uh, ooh, Studio Care Blend and my color is light. And I'm just going to go under the eyes just a tad to set that. So they stay bright. And a week. And then, of course, just blend out the edge of that. And take any of that excess just down, down the neck a tad. Okay. Eee! So now for some contour. Alright. I'm waking up. I'm waking up. Alright, so for contour, I'm going in with Hoola by Benefit and a little uh, contour brush by Real Techniques. I love the way this comes out. So, and I'm also going to go in with a darker color here in a minute. So, just going to work it up into the hairline and then just fan it out. I'm just going to just 
warm us up a little bit and to find her face and just make it thinner. And then just the chin just a little bit. This little spot. Uh, let me use, I'm going to use this uh, Beach Cosmetics brush that we were using. Let's do the chin just a little bit. I love this. I saw somebody do this and I was like, oh my god, love it for sight. Uh, and you can do the nose. I, I usually don't do the nose. My nose is fairly thin, so I don't want it to look gross. But I'll do a little bit. You ain't gonna hurt. So for blusher, um, today I'm gonna be using Melba by MAC. I depotted it, so I'm gonna have to pop it out for you guys. But um, Melba by MAC is a nice uh, matte peach, and I'm gonna be using a Sigma F30. Pop this onto the cheeks. I'm using a fairly neutral color because the eyes are heavy. Alright, so now for the lips. Um, I'm going to just apply a little bit of chat balm because the foundation kind of dried it out a little bit. Now it feels like ghost lips. Mm. <laughs> uh, so the lip color I'm using today, if you guys don't already know, it's purple by MAC. It's a really lovely uh, kind of violet. Ooh, yeah. Oh yeah, okay, it's way darker than I remember being, but it's beautiful. And then, um, just to darken this up, because this is way lighter than I wanted, I'm going to use NYX Lip Liner and Plum. Uh, just to give it, I mean, it's just not as dark as I wanted it to be. It's alright, though. There it is, hang up. I'm just going to bring in hang up a little bit, and just, uh... Make it a little bit more rich, um, uh, not so much bright, so. Alright guys, so uh, that's the look, I hope you guys like it. It's very, uh, very fall. I really am loving these these trends lately with the dark lips. I love a heavy eye. Hope you guys like it and um, I'll see you next time. Also, if you have any questions or requests for videos, I would love for somebody to throw me a bone. Totally love that and just be like, hey, do a video like this and I will be forever and you. Um, not really. See you later.